I'm a paleoclimate scientist. I use tree rings to understand how climate has varied over the past several hundred to thousands of years and to also understand how climate impacts trees. So we're on Fire Island National Park in Long Island doing some reconnaissance, looking for some old aged oak trees and taking some samples. I live and breathe climate change, it's my job. So I'm really interested in how climate is impacting these trees, extreme events like hurricanes, multi-year droughts, strong storms, and I love um, maritime forests. I just think they're beautiful and they're just so dynamic and complex, but they're also just right behind the ocean. I really think of them as on the front lines. These forests break wind energy, they break wave energy. They're very unusual. There's so few of these forests. Our project, our research, we hope to understand them just in more detail so that it can inform restoration efforts of these super important forests. One of our sites is just down the boardwalk there. You can see the water table coming up. What's happening, you have a rising sea level, which is pushing up the water table all over the forest. So today, we cored an oak tree. That tree is growing in sand. It should be sensitive to climate. So in that sense, trees are recording. We can learn so much from their rings. Once we have a full site, of course, once I have a tree ring record, I use it to better understand how trees are responding to climate. The only place so far using tree ring records that I see a big crash in tree growth is in Sandy Hook in New Jersey. That island was hit really hard by uh, Hurricane Sandy in 2012. We're studying them to see how they're responding and how they recover and if they recover. You know, when we think about climate change, tree rings are really how we understand how climate has varied over the past thousand, two thousand years. Every ring is a year, right? So we have really detailed information of climate based on tree rings from all over the Northern Hemisphere, from all over the world. But I know these trees are sensitive to extremes like hurricanes. They're recording them in their tree rings. And the rest, you know, we'll see 